Hello, brothers and sisters. Welcome to day number 14 of 21 of the fast. My name is James Studaway, and my word for today is passion. Now, personally, I believe that passion is one of the most important words of the fast because it allows opportunities and influences for us to commune with God far more. The dictionary identifies that in Christianity, passion also means to suffer, to bear, to endure, and to have patience. You may recall the 2004 movie called The Passion of the Christ, which identifies the major areas of the four testament, the four uh, gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It speaks of the testimony, the crucifixion, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Spoiler alert, <laughs> we win. We win, thankfully, because God, Jesus knew that in his fight against the devil's conniving and even the spilling of his blood, he did that for us. From the time he was born until his very last breath, God, Jesus walked with God's faith, authority, and power. He understood that the devil's plan in his end game was to send us all to a condemned life in the dark world, at hell, basically. We meant nothing to him, but in Jesus, in Jesus' words and his spilling his blood, we meant everything. So he gave us everything. Galatians 5.24 says that all those who belong to Christ have been crucified in the flesh. Well, all those who belong to Christ have crucified the flesh with his passions and desires. In him we have power to overcome. Just as the Gospels portray from the beginnings, test, and the resurrection of Christ, the Old Testament also speak, spoke of the crucifixion hundreds of years before Jesus was born. Isaiah 53, 5 says, But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our inequities, the punishment that brought us peace on him and his wounds were, were healed. Words such as these gave us the promise. Psalm 84, 2 says, My soul longs, faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and flesh sing for the joy in the living God. Furthermore, in the sixth chapter of Isaiah and the fourth chapter of Revelation, they speak of the, the seraphim angels who sat at the throne of God, the most powerful angels of all, only second to the, to the seat of Jesus Christ. They would circle the throne, singing in, in residence, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is full of glory. Again, holy, 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 the Lord God Almighty, who was and is to come. They sing with such power and such passion that even the gates of heaven shook. That's power and that's belief. Now, my brothers and sisters, please understand that passion is displayed in the power and the promise and the praise of our communion with God during the fast. During your fasting, seek to build an inner passion in you and your family's life. Allow this, this passion to cleanse and your weaknesses and chains will be broken. Then continue to use your newfound passion to seek how God wants you to use your gifts for his glory. And in doing so, our lives will be changed forever. Again, today, number 14, 21, the fast, your word was passion. My name is James.